I'm the pioneer guy. Yay. So that don't happen. We'll keep this one. Um, we're on the play with Elf into two drop. If we draw lands, we'll be in good shape. Gigantha, so we're playing in some shitty combo deck. Well, big Kui. Also, thanks for the follow. I saw that you followed me. Um, I'll say that I don't like playing leagues when I'm one and two, because the even if you win your two matches, the prizes are middling to nothing. Okay. Of course, we get what we wanted. We do get the uh, the Just Guy Ascendancy opponent, but we kept a weak hand. It was my fault. Should have maybe Mulligan. They didn't play turn two character though. Anything? Nice. Alright, so we'll play it on white. Play chariot. Ghost Spiral's fine. As long as they don't carry it, I, I don't think... I was, it's going to be hard for me to die in the next two turns. Interesting. I guess I could Portable Holus or something here. Iteration, they're getting desperate. <clears throat> Land next turn threatens lethal. Red source threatens Winota. Are we threatening lethal next turn anyway? We're one short of lethal next turn. I guess we can brutal Cathar. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we actually we have lethal next turn if they have nothing. We can force a block if they have carotid. They can't play Jeskai and uh, Sylvan this turn. And I don't think they can survive by going... They can maybe go just guy and then exile this and then survive and then untap and kill me with Sylvan. I'd like to buy one red toast, please. Todd's a trophy or bus player? No, I'll play for a 4-1. Playing for a 3-2 is like playing for breaking even. I'm not going to play two matches. I'm not going to spend two hours of my life to try to win one booster pack. That's just dumb. I do when I give a shit, but when I'm frustrated and I just know my deck's good and I just want to fucking try again... And when one of the losses is my own fault. Like, I owe one drop PTQs a lot because I it's just not worth playing 12 hours to try to go 12-0 or whatever. If you lose the first round, you're so unlikely to win. It's like the only person who's ever done in history is like Paul Vitor Domodorosa. You know? That's not true, but... It's like a similar-esque. So they have two blockers now. Okay. So we'll pop a land with the Trion. All right, Spellbinder in, Devoning Silence in, Rhetoric in. Unmaster out, Kindred out, Tildalar out. Uh, Brutal Cathar is bad. Let's see. Put this back in. This back in. Skyclave is okay. Can tag a uh, Jeskai. Maybe it's this. We just go for at least Bellbinders only off the Winota. Is that worth? It's probably not that bad. Trying to figure out if we want like one or two hunt master to make our Winotas in net draw. I don't think so. It's like this weird shitty goldfish game, right? The Winotas are pretty bad after sideboard in a lot of matchups because the humans are just not good in some some spots. I think Kenrith might be okay. Today's Black Row is awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, you can uh, check out the VODs on Twitch if you want.
The deck itself was pretty cool. Might be able to make a YouTube video from it. Maybe not. Uh, we'll keep. We can go turn three chariots. Making the bit now? Okay. Cool. I didn't even know. Now they're your idol on. I think I'm going to go for voice here. We've got a nice little house of cards situation happening where I can play idol on. If they kill it, they probably can't kill me that turn. So then I can apparition the thing that kills it and bring it back. They can only play one spell turn. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's go green, white. Let's go uh, Innkeeper Silence, yeah? The voice is kind of shitty. That can maybe let me double spell next turn. This is non-creature, which is good for me. If they have an answer for it, we have Eidolon. And then if they have an answer for that, we have Skyclave. Now they could just like hit a bunch of removal spells and kill me or whatever, so I don't want to count nothing out. A lot of carry added. Guess we'll play a chariot. It's gonna be kind of hard for them to go kill Daphne Silence, play Just Guy Sensei, and kill me. They need like exactly three cards. Are they hard casting crews? Okay. Sounds fun. That's hot. <clears throat> All right, let's play Eidolon. All right, we'll attack with Chariot and the Cats. I guess we can maybe hold back a Cat. They're not going to block, probably, so... I wonder if we can make room for Selfless Spirit. That might be kind of cool, actually. Like a one or two of. I don't think Ranger class is that good, so maybe one Selfless Spirit main, one Cyborg would be tight. I do think Ranger class kind of sucks, so. Every time they tap six, I think I'm about to get Blasphemous acted or whatever. I got Vanquish the Horde, now I have PTSD. Another Cruise. They can still only play the one spell. Deafening in Eidolon means they're not going to be unlocked for a minute. We have Spellbinder to see if they have a Wrath of some kind. And we can't play another spell after that, so we need our one spell to be really good. And I'm going to choose to be interactive here. Two Radiant Flames, huh? So Radiant Flames doesn't quite do it. But we will just go ahead and do that, I guess. Radiant Flames also kills all their Karyatids, so it's not even that good. I think voice is great. I would I like I want to play four I want to keep playing four voices. Might want not you might not have wanted to take flames to now they cast it for four or for five. Oh yeah, that's fair. Didn't see it. So now they clear. They still can't be this deafening silence yet. We can uh, play chariot and activate an attack. But you're right. I didn't realize. Another punt, but that's something I'll never do again. So we're learning. So I have Sylvan Awakening, but it doesn't kill me. It doesn't come close to killing me. Um, I guess we just play a second chariot so that we can attack. I 
I've been playing a wild spear so running around not too often side type We've played against it off stream twice uh, Not last night, but night before though Are we dead? Are you kidding me? Are you really just about to fucking kill me? Uh, they're gonna do it for two. That's fine. All right, they didn't kill me. That's fine. We're in good shape. I can hit the portable hole with the thing on it. I have three white, so we can also play the voice. Three versions, Mono Blue's a joke. I mean, I played against it twice, it's fine. I don't know. Third Radiant Flames? No. Cycle Triumph, that's fine. Luckily, if they kill Skyclave, they only get a 1 1. They don't get their portable hole back. So my Definitely Silence should be safe. I can uh, Skyclave the portable hole to turn this on so it can attack. That's probably what I'm going to do. Is this non land? Yeah. So no attacks next turn. So Sylvan Awakening is kind of like a fog. That's fine. Chariot's so dumb. Why is Chariot dumb? My opponent played Treasure Cruise. Okay. Am I not allowed to play fun, good things? Huh? Doesn't matter. This game should have been won a long time ago if I knew how rules worked. That's the thing, man. You need to play a lot of magic to see the little things like that. Elliot saw it immediately. You know, if I'd really pondered on it, maybe I would have seen it, but it's just uh tough tough beats. Alright, we'll play another voice. Because this is still only hurting half my stuff. Uh, I kind of want to save the Skyclave, but I'm going to go for lethal. I'm going to go for lethal. So I have to chump block now. All right, so let's see if they wrath me. I get three things, and they get two blockers. They could play Sylvan Awakening... And uh, block, I guess. They have a bunch of blockers. So we just pass again next turn. This is not close to lethal. Definitely Silence actually doing some serious shit here. Eidolon look nice too. Someone awakening is fog. Things you love to see. So now they have to go E Deafening Silence, Just Guy Ascendancy, Sylvan Awakening. That's to be like, and that's not even good enough. It has to be Portable Hold This, Treasure Cruise, Just Guy, Sylvan Awakening, Other Thing. That's what it's got to be. Or Big Wrath twice somehow. I don't know. Uh, maybe Howl, but I think just having them sit around is better. Easy? What I say? Easy game playing against Jessica Ascendancy? Alright, we'll keep, but I'm not stoked about it. I don't know. Can turn two Ranger class, turn three, pump it up. We got these two Kinris, so maybe that's bad. Maybe I should have mulliganed. In the dark against the Thoughtseize deck. Okay, well, they're going to take Ranger class, and then I'm doing nothing for a while, probably. Are you going to Indy? The plan is to go to Indy, yes. But plans change, COVID things, maybe. We'll see. I would like to go. 
I'd like to go to a bunch of tournaments, but I'm not going to go if it's dangerous or if I think uh, I shouldn't. You know what I mean? So I don't want to say yes, but probably. That is to say, maybe? Are they Aetherborn? Was this a Thoughtseize or a Fatal Push? Thoughtseize. Okay. So we'll play Stomp, Tap, probably. Kind of hope I draw a Chariot. Chariot be tight. No blocks. Stomping ground. Yeah, same spammy. I'm thinking about going to that as well. So I'll have to see how it shakes out, though, huh? All right, pass the turn. All right, so I guess we just play Kenrith. If they play removal spell, we get a token. If they block with Muta Vault, that's great. So this kind of time walks on makes them kill this on their own turn. I could have waited a turn to give a haste, but I don't think that does a lot. Oh, it didn't die. I just assumed it was dying. That's sick. I guess it's not that good right now. Guess I can gain some life off of it. Attack with the voice, I guess. Maybe I won't. I'm going to play a shock so I can put two counters on things after and do some blocking, or I can just gain five life. $62 flight, that's not bad. Hope your plane ever gets to leave. You know? Wonder if SCG is going to stream in the events. They have no plans to. Just so you know, that's not a secret. They have no plans to. All right. I'm going to go block. I'm going to put two counters on it. And I, now I can put three counters or I can gain uh, some life. Is it five each? So I can gain 10 life. So as long as my Kindred doesn't die, should be okay. I don't know. I can gain a bunch of life. I can do some blocking. Top card revealed. Obviously, if they draw a removal spell for it, I'm in, probably dead. Until I draw Winota or something similar to have some fun. Fierce Bloodlord, eh? Gonna gain 10 life. I don't know. Whatever. Sounds like something from the Blade soundtrack. Well, now they're gonna let me kill both their Planeswalkers? Or are they taking a damage to play another Knight of the Ebon Legion? Question mark. All right, so let's kill Sorn the Mirthless, or Sorn Imperious, four, five, no, that's not it. So this goes Sorn Imperious, this goes Mirthless, 
Mirthless face. And then I have to hit some stuff. Can I? I have to attack with the elf, I think. All right, we got two spins. Brutal's good. Um, attack face, I guess. This will pop uh, Big Charlie. On Master to get two blockers. Yep. Face. Might still be dead, though. I think we are still dead, actually. I think I might have attacked. I, maybe I should have attacked with this. Okay, I guess they don't see that they have lethal. They tapped a mute vault with summoning sickness. Yeah, I should have held Winota and Kindrith too, probably, huh? But they actually just punted, so it doesn't matter. Now we win easily. Sometimes your opponent just fucks up, I guess. I don't know. So we'll uh, play this thing and give it haste and then attack with everybody. I can't imagine this is not lethal. Or enough triggers to get it done. Brutal Cathar for sure. Tag the Kalidus. Tovars. Match like football, sometimes both teams punt. Yes. I should not have attacked with Winota or Kenrith, I think. And I should have hoped that my two tits off of Winota were good enough to kill the Planeswalkers and leave me enough creatures to block. But it's pretty close. I mean, like, maybe it's attack with just Winota and hold back Kenrith, but I think it's maybe just attack with Kenrith and hold back Winota. In case I hit a Winota in the attack. I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right. So this matchup, we want Skyclaves. All my big stuff's great. I hate Tovlar. I think I'm just going to cut this card. And I'm going to cut this card. I'm going to cut this card. These are my three least favorite cards in the deck, so I'm fine cutting all of them all the time. But I don't know if that's correct. I mean, I don't think they're that bad against Vampires. Yeah, Sarcasso, that was probably the play, bud. Yeah. Blobfish hasn't been having some thoughts about this deck. Let's hear him, baby. That's what we're here for. All right, we'll keep. That was the, the game where we kept... Uh, what? Ranger class and two Winota? Or, sorry, two... Five-drop guy? What's his name? Kenrith? What about Ness Invader? I've thought about something similar. I think Peacekeeper's better, though. <laughs> or whatever, the Innkeeper. What you calls it's better. I can't remember names of things. I used to. I used to have a crack with memory. Not anymore. Yeah, I think that's just too much nonsense, though, early Blobfish. You need a nice balance of humans and stuff like that, so... Can't be fucking around. But I like where your head's at. I think uh, Sevel Spirit's better, though. What are you casting on turn two? Like a, a voice, an innkeeper, a second elf after your first one died. There's plenty. There's plenty to do. I'm definitely blocking if they attack. All right. I don't think Brutal Cathar does much here, so maybe we just wait on it. I'm going to go ahead and attack the Soren, though. I don't think the voice token does a ton. It makes me feel protected, I guess, but 
really what it does is it becomes a voice token while trading. That's the best thing it can do. Yeah, Blobfish, Paradise Druid is good. That was in the standard version, so that's probably not a bad idea. So I'm I'm curious if they're going to throw this at the elemental token. <clears throat> they're going to put a counter or are they going to throw it? Minus. Oh, they're drawing three cards. Okay. So maybe, maybe they're pushing this. Nope. Okay. Well, chariot time. Chariot time. Is that the end of the playlist? Wow. All right, start over. Back Soren, they want to trade, I'm fine. We can actually activate this and it gets bigger if they try to trade four fours. You play a second, you're never doing anything with Eternal and Elf mana. Well, if you think Ness Invader is better than Elf, I got a bridge and Terabitha to sell you. The Charmed Groomsman has arrived. He's arrived! Damn. Brutacathar, the Edgar, to get it off the table for a turn or two. Then we'll activate the Chariot and swing. The, uh, the Innkeeper's giving us a lot of life this game. Oh, no worries, man. Thanks for chatting. I do think that the elves are rather weak because we don't have good three drops. But overall, they help us ramp into four, not three, which is weird, right? We're kind of like in a weird skip step. But that's why this deck never played like four voice resurgence. I just got to the point where I know all my shit's dying like every time. Only to cast vampire spells. Okay, so they can't buff this? Question mark? I think I hit Etherborn. Maybe it was at Ebon Legion, though. Just no attacks. Are we playing Rabbleman? No. Well, that's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. You don't have enough for this, bro. Come on. Still need one. Yeah, Blobfish, I agree. The ramp is good. The life is actually pretty relevant, too. Like regularly relevant. Yeah, I mean, Innkeeper is uh, coming from a long line of cards that do similar things, right? So I think if um, if they don't do anything, I'm not going to do anything, right? And just let my brutal flip. Ooh, sounds like lunchtime. Thank you, baby. So now they'll use Valdair in a state, but they're not casting a spell. So my Cathars will transform, and then um, if they try to kill them, they'll take some damage. <laughs> Maybe they're pushing and getting back Edgar, though. Thankfully not. 
So now if they play two spells, these transform back. If they only play one spell, if we draw a land, we can do some stuff. This shuts down only Winota, but we don't even have that, so I think we're okay with that. As their one spell. All right, let's go activate Chariot. These can't get bigger, right? So and we'll just play another Chariot. How do I get this lunch delivery app? Um, well, my payment is that I cook dinner every night, basically. So it's a fine price to pay, if you ask me. All right, so they're going to eleven. Should we have been attacking the whole time? They're like kind of low. I don't know. I really don't want them to get anything back with the Brutes, you know? Yeah, Callie and I have a running deal where I've been cooking dinner most nights, and then when she comes home for lunch for an hour, she just heats up leftovers and we eat them, and it's been great. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Chariot's fucked up. I agree. I think we might have had lethal on them, but I'm going to play it safe. Let these transform. And then, uh, if t actually, if they kill one, the champion of dust might actually end up doing them too much damage. So. Wrath me? Wrath me is not not fun. I do think that we have enough pressure to just swing with everything though. And if we draw a land, we can play Huntmaster first. So they gain three life up to ten. I guess I don't even yeah. All right, so if we attack with everybody, what happens? Uh, they probably go here on the chariot. They go to 10 here, here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm going for it. If they have a something, whatever, we're going for it. It can't go that badly is all I'm saying. We're at 33. We got 100 creatures. The worst case scenario is if they wrath us next turn. So I think just going for lethal and hoping they don't have a removal spell or whatever is good enough. They'll get two knights back. We still have a thousand tokens. Whatever. Easy. On the roll, easy. Keep. Best hand I've ever seen. This is literally the best hand I've ever seen. What's up, Moppy? How you doing, baby? I'm the pioneer guy. It's nice. It somehow got better. Somehow my hand got better. Chat. How? Eidolon. Dead. <sighs> it'd, be, it'd be sad if it wasn't so good, right? Easy. 
How do you possibly win from here? How can you possibly win from here? Even if you kill Winota. Ranger class, yeah. How do you possibly win from here? Can't do it. So they stomped. That means they're not playing Lurus. They're probably that mini mid-ranger red deck. So Spellbinder is not good. Tovlar is always bad. Goose is probably fine. <clears throat> Bill Green, White, Humans, and Pioneer loved it. Nice, nice. The one that uh, got second in the PTQ? Or I guess tied for first. I don't know if they actually played the last match. It was a super, so everyone <gasps> qualified, I think. Whatever. Get out of here. Maybe I should cut things that died a chain whirler, though, yeah? I can't cut elf those. Elfos. They didn't kill my alpha. We won. Easy. All right. This hand's pretty good. Another best hand I've ever seen. Now this elf is going to die. This elf is going to die so hard it makes me not want to play it. Voice is good, though. Oh, it didn't die? That's sick, nasty. Stompies? Sure. All right, this one's going to be white. Go ahead and keep her. Get that mana. Get chaired online as soon as we can. That uh, makes two cats, Travis, on Magic Online. On Magic Arena, it only makes one cat, I believe. Frostadon. We're going to take a little damage here, but that's okay. Frost on means we don't gain life. <clears throat> if we draw a land, we can go Ballistic with Winota. But I kind of wanted to get one more thing down. I could have went Winota attack with just Innkeeper and try to hit uh, a big thing or a way to remove this. Maybe that was better. All right, that's very good for me. Land one time dealer. Well, I guess I didn't specify, so that's my bad. All right, I'm down to trade. Since we don't have the second white. That's happened a bunch, not having second white. We may try to add a, a white source to the deck. for, Or we need to get something instead of Skyclaves, because I find myself just not having the second white for Skyclave quite a bit. Or only having the second white one time, you know? All right, so voice, lair. At least that means they don't have Chain Whirler. Yeah, I agree. That's what I'm saying. If they just played Bone Crusher, I can't imagine that we're doing badly. So at 14, especially if they tap out again for like another three drop. If they attack with Frost on, I might triple block to kind of... Okay, now let's just hope they don't have the thing, the one mana thing. All right, well, we're going to go for it. Easy. Easiest win of my life? Easiest win of my life? Is this deck good? Well, opponent is not playing a companion. That could mean a lot of things. I guess I keep. Hope we draw a land that's a green source or white source so we don't have to play branch loft on green. But oh, we're playing against vampies. Uh-oh. All right, I do want the white over the, the red here, so... All right, fatal push it. Nope. Good news. <laughs> I 
Next turn, I can go double elf. If I draw a land, I can go Huntmaster on three. <clears throat> I gotta. I guess I'll play this as a white though and go elf innkeeper maybe. Something like that. We'll see. Lol L Lol. That's a weird name. Hello, opponents. Are you there? What do I want? Like a stomping ground? Stomping ground would be tight. Let's see. I, I think I'm just going to go elf elf. I do want this to be white. I do work things for a bit, but I'm back. Welcome back, Not. Glad to have you. Could have played Innkeeper to gain a few more life points, but I think the permanent mana, when I have a hand that's heavy green, is a little bit stronger. So what are they going to do? Plus this? Put a counter on it? Or throw it at an elf? Maybe they'll throw it at an elf. Oh, minus. Okay, so now we can uh, Brutal and attack the Imperious Bloodlord and kill it. Or I can just cast a Huntmaster, huh? Is that any good? I heard the Huntmaster is not bad. <clears throat> not bad. Aspiring Advantage. <clears throat> I really don't want a Brutal Cathar the champion. I could have gone Brutal Cathar champion, attack down Soren. We lost an elf. But then if they ever kill Brutal Cathar, they just get their champion to dust back. Seemed kind of lackluster, if you ask me. So we'll save it for um, uh, a creature that's not as bad when it enters the battlefield. All right, so they're going to sack something to deal three to Tovlar, probably. Or are they just going to kill elf? wonder if they're going to kill... Okay, I was, gonna, I was curious if they were going to... Play another Imperius and plus again and kill the Tovlar. Um, I'm not really into Kinrith yet. Harless act on this, okay? So we can kill the Aetherborn. Oh, wow. What an attack. Wild. All right, so let's go. We can use, let's see, so green, white. Voice. Brutal. <clears throat> I like voice over innkeeper. My life's not under duress at the moment. And I think I'd much rather um, get the voice in place so that my opponent's kind of operating at sorcery speed. I don't want them to have any sort of like um, known quantity of... of I, I want to I punish them for interacting on my turn so that I can like Kinrith and haste and it's not scary. So they're incentivized to tap out on their own turn. Kalidus is really scary. Really scary. All right, so three, four, five. We can go Prosperous Innkeeper plus Kenrith. I guess we just do that. We can also maybe do nothing and pass with this. I think it's Innkeeper plus Kenrith. No haste. Maybe it's haste just to attack with it. Actually, I kind of like using it to use one of the other abilities, so I'll just say go. So 
So for the revive, yeah. If I get to untap with it, I'd be very happy. Can't block Kalidus. They can sack too much. I guess they can make it a 5-6. I think they accidentally f 6 but they're trying to undo it. So they're moving into combat. So they can still kill the Kenrith. I'm hoping they just play a Champion of Dusk or something, though. They only have a couple Heartless Axe, a couple Murder Shriders as ways to kill Kenrith, so. Behoos! Thanks for the Prime sub, baby. Welcome to the Todd Squad. If you got a Prime sub lying around, I would appreciate it if you could throw it my way. Big fans. Prime subs. How about we say Pine needs the other half of Fast Lands? Not really. Not not now that it's got pathways, it doesn't really need it. Could it have used it a long time ago? Yeah. Is it like a necessary thing at the moment? Not really. Are we you go master dual gamers yet? I don't know what that means. I am owning if that's what you're asking. I'm 3-0. About to win this game because my Kenneth off my Prosperous Innkeeper is going to return Tovlar. I don't even know if they see it. They It's really hard for them to kill this without... Um, they need like exact... Like Heartless Act doesn't even work anymore because I can just put a counter on it. Are the Soylands good in Pioneer as well? Yes, they are. You guys know Arena Equivalent came out today? Oh, that's cool. Should have been done five years ago or whatever. Furious Blood Lord. Okay. Another minus. Are we going to plus on something? Was re rezzing on your turn so it could flip on your opponent's turn? It's going to flip anyway because it's night and day mechanic. All right. So they're tapped out of black now. We can also fight on our on right now as well. So I'm trying to I was trying to wait for them to use their mana. And then I was going to bring it back and fight. See what they put on the battlefield. Another champion. All right, so let's go put... Tovlar onto the battlefield. Go black, two, three, or this. And then uh, put these on the stack. And then we'll uh, use this. This will fight Legion. Now they can go land Fatal Push now on the Moonrage Brutes. Guess they didn't see it. Apparition, Spellbinder. I think the Tovlars are good here. Or the Huntmasters. This one's still bad. Goose Ranger class can maybe come out too. Goose for sure. Ranger class is okay in the matchup. So maybe we just want these. What do we cut then? All right. It's fine. I also hope they don't have Thoughtsies. We're going to go voice voice Winota. You know, just like, don't let the removal spells be that good. Hopefully we draw lands. I 
Uh, Sneaky, you can post it up in our Discord if you like, and I'll take a look at it when I can. Um, or we can do a deck tech for a gifted sub or five bones. Five dollar donation or a gifted sub, either one is fine. Uh, but you can post up in the chat and ask for some feedback from folks, and I'll take a look at it after stream or whenever I'm not busy. Edgar's basically stronger than Omnath. <laughs> uh, against some matchups, I would say, yeah, I guess. I will play another voice. I'm going to attack with this voice and get some damage in. Last game, we had turn three, Tolvar's Huntmaster. This game, hopefully, we go turn four, Winota. Please don't minus. Just plus on anything, and I'll be happy. Come on. All right, T-Spain, heard. gonna play it i don't really care if my voices die if they kill it i get two voice tokens we'll send both at soren we'll get some triggers kenrith or tolvar i'll go tolvar this is why you just play winota place over to attack player and then we'll keep the tapped attacking one so unless all three blocks soren's dead and this is going face I guess we can get Wrathed somehow. It's either Concession or Wrath. I'm not sure which. I suppose there's some small chance that they can kill this and this this turn. And if that's the case, we keep playing Magic for a little while. But then we just play Chariot and maybe ride that to victory. There are nine, so I'll probably keep slamming in with my two twos and let one die every turn. How's this not the best deck in the format? It might be. Yeah, was, dude, we've played it, and this is like our third league with it, and our win rate is not good. So, like, I don't know if it's just me getting more comfortable with the deck or if it's, like, better draws or what. I think my build is a little bit better. I added some more voices, got rid of the hexproof thingy. I'm going to work on it a little more after the league, too. What up, Isaac? Loses Jeskai Sensei as far as I know. I don't think so, Dunks. Our sideboard is really heavily slanted against it. We two it earlier. And uh, we're just really fast gold fishing. All right, we're on the play. I'll keep. Turn two Ranger class. Turn three, we can either activate or hopefully do something better. Opponents on Luris. Maybe this hand will be insulated against cheap removal. I really hope they're not playing Heroic. I think Heroic's a bad matchup because they have four main deck cards that deal four to Winota. If it's a two drop, I'm definitely just going to block if they attack. All right, do I... I kind of want to activate an attack. I think I'm just going to curve out the next couple turns. It's not really turn three chariot, it's turn four chariot. But... I kind of want to keep the mana for the Huntmaster in case my uh, Winota dies. I 
What do you get from channel points? You get me to do a bunch of fucked up fun stuff. You get to engage with me, the host of the channel. I have plenty of ways for you to spend your points, and you can look all over them. All right. And now I guess the real question is, do we Winota or Chariot? Just gonna play Chariot. Next turn, if we draw land, we can go Voice Winota. But I'm I'm not really into. Uh, I'm also gonna try to block with Chariot. I think. I don't want to just run into the uh, deal four. Definitely they're holding up a reckless. Yeah, me too. But I'm gonna bait them with this. If they attack. Gird it up. Gird me daddy. All right, that was a bluff. You got me. Or gird, damn it. I don't get anything for channel points, Aaron. It's just a way for me to engage with the chat more. Empty the Wonder Demon 69. Nice. I hope we draw a land. I really want to go voice Winota. I think that would be sick. Are we dead to Titan Shrink Charm? Always. You can never beat Titan Shrink Charm. It doesn't matter. You want me to just start chum blocking with my wolves and prosperous innkeepers? Just got to cast it. Wow. It just worked. Can we get one million points for you to get a puppy? Uh, nah. <clears throat> What's an opponent's hand? I don't know. All protection, I guess. God's willings and such. Uh, I guess Tovlar, get some more blockers, get some more life. Just lethal? Maybe? Short? Nope. Easy. They just didn't have it, chat. How fucking great is that? They didn't have it. I think rhetoric's good. I'm not sure if Renning Volley is good. I think Apparition's fine. The problem is I don't think that the uh, the Tovlar's Huntmasters do enough on their own. So the question is, do we bring an Eidolon of Rhetoric for anything? Do we trim like a Tovlar? These have to be good. What's getting cut? Maybe voices? Voices, okay, chump blocker. Maybe it's like this. I'll trim one Tovlars. 
talk about discussing. It's pretty good. Sometimes you just gotta take the hit on 16. I know, I know. Trader Joe, don't say shit like that, man. That's a weird and not cool thing to say. Even if it's true, all animals eat all people when they're hungry enough, you know? Look at that, Kenrith. This sounds pretty good, though. Pretty happy about it. For some reason, I can't just fucking uh, delete his comment. I just have to time him out and untime him out. Sorry about that. Thought he eats all animals when he's hungry enough? That's true, I do. And Toddy is usually hungry enough. Target Soul Scar just to kind of slow him down. Um, if they kill anything this turn, it'll likely be brutal to get their creature back, but we don't want it to have haste. Um, hopefully our elf survives, and then we'll just play Cherry next turn, probably. Dreadhorde, Arcanist, okay. Um, I guess we don't need the second red, so we'll just play this Chariot. This game feels good? Not really. Them getting to untap with the Dreadhorde is scary as shit. And Gerd plus their uh, Swiss beer is kind of gross. Um, I'm going to be looking to block with Chariot. And if they have the Inspire or the uh, Reckless Rage for it, then I'm really in trouble. Ancestral Anger Manka. We're not blocking with Brutal, so we'll activate it with Cat. And brutal. Probably try to block the Dreadhorde if they attack. Another anger. Maybe they should have played it on the Arcanist, huh? If they don't have a land, I feel good. If they have a land, now we're in, now we're in bad shape. I think. Pretty tense game too, being up a game. Doubters and believers are pretty close to dead heat. See how they attack, just that. I'm just gonna take it, I think. Time strength's not lethal, it's one short. Do I do anything? I think I can't. I think I'm too close to death. But if I don't die this turn, I'm going to be doing some blocking. If I don't die this turn, I'm going to uh, hopefully draw Winota and kill them. Could go Kenrith, give it a haste and attack for a bunch. So we could block with voice and get like a big voice turn. But they have an anger to give Swiss Beer Trample, so I have to block it with a lot of stuff. God's willing, okay. You can pass these something with Cathar. That's not how it works. You got to do it twice. The backside doesn't do it. So then go protection from green, protection from white. That's because chariot's green, unfortunate. I assume they have any other spell.
Who knows? Maybe their hand is to land in another creature, huh? Okay. Well, we saw they have red cap. All right, game three. We get to be on the play. See how this goes. Uh, I'm going to bring the goose back in. Um, I think I'm going to cut idle on. I just want to slam on him with these. Maybe I should have blocked with the voice the turn before. Did I know? Was it even in play? No, it wasn't in play yet, right? I played the turn before, turn after. All right, we'll be on the play. Bring back in the goose. Keep this one. We'll go elf into innkeeper or brutal cathar, depending. Well, you did it. I re-downloaded MTGO and got a manager's account at lunch. Hell yeah, Garoff. Is it Giraffe or Garoff? I always fuck it up on uh, whenever Cal and I are watching Witcher. I don't know if it's Geralt or Geralt. I'm pretty sure it's Geralt. I'm pretty sure it's Geroff, but I don't know. Tough Geep? Is it? This hand's pretty good, I think. They mold a six. This is definitely going to be a white. I think I'm going to go ahead and pop that with Brutal. Slow him down. Or, hear me out. Innkeeper plus Elf start gaining some life. And then maybe Tovlar next turn if we draw mana. <laughs> like Rolf the Doll from Muffets, right? But is it Garoff or Jeroff? Jeroff, yeah. That treasure token changes so much. I know. I need uh, another land, though. But it helps with these, too. So in a pinch, I can play them off Skyclave. That's why Innkeeper's so good. Even though life matters, I can just kind of ignore some of their shit for a minute. Even if they kill Brutal, that's not a big deal. We have an answer for Lurus if they don't have... They might have sighted out some God's Willings, too, because we don't have a lot of things that hit it. You know? It's a great draw. Gain some life. I think it's okay to attack with exactly Brutal Cathar. Uh, I'm assuming this was dying, so... They have to sack a land? That can't be good for them. Oh, they have Soul Scar. They don't have to sack a land. Brutal. But we don't attack with the Innkeeper because if we do, it gets eaten by the Hoplite. That's why we just attack with the Brutal Cathar. <sighs> All right, what am I blocking? I think it's this. Maybe it's this. I think it's this. I was willing, it's fine. If 
Why don't they have a second land? Uh, because Medcap, uh, Skullsar is a little mini combo. Oh, they're fucking dead, dead. Oh, I should have activated. Damn it. Hopefully it won't matter. But I should have uh, probably copied treasure instead of the other one. So if I don't get combo killed here, I think we would have, I think we're fine. How dead? Dead, dead. We did it, chat! We did it! We got our first Pioneer Trophy! I'm the fucking trophy guy! All right, uh, choose outcome. The Believer, check the result and reward the viewers who voted for it with channel points. Easy Believers. Easy Believers. Pay this man his money. Look at all those chesties. Is it a chesty celebratory opening stream now? Are we pogging? All. 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 All right, let's see what we got. All right, uh, we got a Merktide Regent. That's got to be worth something. Collect a company. That's probably worth something. I doubt this is worth anything. I doubt this is worth anything. Is this the worst I've ever seen? Hyper maybe, Keratid maybe, Shivan Reese maybe, different sets, love to see. 250 play points, not a ton, but it's still fine. Florian worth anything? Hardened Scales worth anything? Is Coco worth less because Secret Lair? Did that happen on MTGO? Murtide's 15, bummer. We could have made a lot more money selling. But we got 25 bucks worth of play points, right? So this is two and a half leagues. That's fine. This is why I open them all, because you just get points back. And sometimes you hit money. Sometimes you hit full sets. Coco's five. Okay. So maybe there's some value in here somewhere, too. All right. So let's go over the list real quick. And then we'll probably watch some coverage for a little bit. I can play another league, maybe. But All right. So here's the deck list. This is the easiest 5-0 of my life. What are chests selling for currently? I don't know. I don't even look anymore. I haven't used the fucking uh, trade store in a long time. About 45 in value. 45. That's not too bad. 11 chests. No, 17 chesties. So if they're worth like 2.5 a piece, we like broke even. And I think that was actually pretty bad. You still going to add a white source? Good question. Let me go pee and think about it. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a pee about it. Give me a sec. Okay, sorry, thanks. 
No, I was definitely muted. I didn't want y'all to hear me pee. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Look, if you just say muted, it's fine, okay? It's usually fixed in one second. It's no big. You did it! Congratulations! All right, so um, after going 5-0, we only lost one game, and it was to what I would consider a not great matchup. I think that Boris Rogue deck with main deck... Um, Reckless Rage is probably one of the tougher matchups because they have a one-mana spell that kills Winota. Although, I will say Asuka's Cherry is quite good. Another problem is that we can't block very well against them. They have a lot of tricky things. Um, you know, we kind of nut drew them in the first game, and then we kind of overran them in the third game because we were on the play with a bunch of mana producers. So, I think against them, you just have to go wide. And you have to hope that they don't combo kill you with Boros Charm and, and Titan Strength. Um, I think maybe next time I'll leave the Eidolons in. I think the Eidolons could be great. Uh, I just got frustrated and I want to be on the play with a more streamlined version, and it worked out. Uh, as far as the mana base is concerned, I kind of want to add another white, uh, although I don't really want it to be Inspiring Vantage. I guess it's got to be a Needle Verge Pathway, and it's got to be over Lair of the Hydra or Forest. I kind of liked the untapped land Forest over the Lair of the Hydra, I, in five matches, and actually across like 15, 20 matches with Winota, I have only ever activated Lair of the Hydra like twice. But when you do, it's good. Uh, so it's it's tough. It's tough. I'm not really sure what the best route to, to victory is here. Um, maybe it's just play one mana confluence. Maybe one mana confluence over a forest. I don't like Brushland. I think mana confluence is likely better because the, the extra red source is nice. Brushland could be good. I forgot the Pain Lands even existed, to be honest. But, uh, you know, Shivan Reef's in there, I guess, in some of these decks. Uh, maybe it's just the enemy Pain Lands are legal. Who knows? It's a made-up format. Anyway, um, the deck performed admirably. I love playing 4 Huntmaster. I don't think that Hexproof one's any good. The Kenriths were excellent. I actually did some cool stuff with Prosperous Innkeeper Kenrith a couple times. Even though I sided out Ranger Class and Gilded Goose quite a bit, I think both of them are fine, and I kind of want another one drop and kind of want another two drop. After you get a little more interactive with Skyclave Apparition, uh, it becomes less necessary to have your one drop. Uh, Tovlar, Dire Overlord sucks. I'm going to cut it from the deck entirely, I think. I don't know what I'm going to play instead yet, but it's definitely just getting cut. I cited it out every game, and I never wanted to draw it. I never wanted to hit it off Winota, and I never want to draw it. Therefore, it's bad. Brutal Cathar, excellent. Prosperous Innkeeper, excellent. Voice of Resurgence, excellent. Eight Elves, excellent. Four Chariot, four Winota, excellent. Two Kindreth, excellent. Mana Base, needs one White Source. That's it. Sideboard, Apparition, very good. I boarded in against all the decks that had targets. At least Spellbinder, pretty good. When you're lowering your curve, you can cut Tovlar's Huntmaster and Kenrith in some matchups. You still kind of want to have some humans to hit off of Winota. And I think at least Spellbinder is a, a hot one. Idol on a Rhetoric and Definitely Silence, both great against Jeskai Ascendancy. Love it. And then last but not least, Running Volley. It's pretty good. You can maybe swap it with uh, Red Cap Melees or some combination of things. This person, I feel like, was really worried about, um, like, Spirits or... I don't know. I don't know. But the Running Volleys didn't come in ever. We can maybe substitute it for, like, um, Portable Hole or something if you really want to. Maybe some anti-red things like um, Red Cap Melee, Chandra's Defeat. Maybe, uh, maybe just, like, Lightning Axe or something. Ring Ball, I guess, is pretty good in the mirror against other Winotas, but it, that's all it really tags. That and Brutal Cathar, so I'm not sure I even really love it there. So I'm, th that's kind of what I'm keeping my eye on. Is Ring Volley better than Portable Hole? Can we get another White Source in? Can we cut Tovlar for anything in the whole universe? Anything would be better. Maybe one Selfless Spirit main over to Tovlar, and then one more Selfless Spirit sideboard to help out against Supreme Verdict. That's about it. All right, that's going to do it here for Naya Winota. The sex great. You should probably try to pick it up and play it. Um, I don't think Winota will get banned anytime soon. I don't think they're going to ban anything anytime soon. Uh, so high recommend the stack. It's very good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you soon. End of YouTube.
Cut!